So we know officially now that starting Wednesday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 Central, on USA Network, NXT is going to be airing two hours worth of it every week, which comes on the heels of what we had heard recently with the potential move of NXT to either FS1 or USA Network, that Vince McMahon and Kevin Dunn were going to be reportedly more involved in the NXT product, the production, the presentation, and so forth. Uh-oh. For those of you that really have enjoyed NXT and its weekly show on the network, that have enjoyed their takeover events, this should be an uh-oh. This should be a really, really big uh-oh. And let me clarify something here. I go on the record saying this. The fact that USA reportedly is giving upwards of $50 million a year for the right to have NXT being broadcast on USA Network, prime time, two hours every Wednesday night. If you think Vince McMahon, and as a byproduct, Kevin Dunn, but specifically we it all starts at the top of this company in WWE and Vince McMahon. If you think Vince McMahon is going to attach something to his name as he's trying to work on and improve and continue to build the relationship with USA Network, if you think he is going to allow Hunter, God himself, ugh, to have domain over NXT, unfettered, unchecked, you're crazy. You are absolutely crazy. Even if initially it did, by some odd circumstance happen that way. You can't possibly be gullible enough to think that long term that Vince and Kevin Dunn aren't going to be at least somewhat interested, if not heavily involved, in what is put on Wednesday nights with NXT. You can't, can you? What in Vincent Kennedy McMahon's nature makes you think that he is anything other than the ultimate micromanager? The guy is in his damn mid-70s talking about wanting to launch the XFL back again. And all the while, you still find out reports that he's rewriting at the last minute full episodes of Raw and fucking SmackDown. So you think now magically because you love NXT or you believe in God as we all should on everything that is the Hunter, the Hearst, and the Helmsley. Okay. If you think for a moment that Vince McMahon is magically going to change his stripes and not become heavily involved and ultimately put his fingerprints all over that show, you must be crazy, naive, or just flat-out delusional because ah, ah, it ain't going down that way and you damn good and well know it. And we have 30-plus years of history to suggest just that being true. Now, as fans of... NXT in its current form, you must understand for the greater good of these talents getting on primetime national cable television, there are going to be some trade-offs. The show is going to be longer. Perhaps their pay-per-view business model could change and it's not going to be every two-ish, three-ish months for a takeover show. It could potentially evolve into every month to six weeks or so. I'm not guaranteeing that. I'm just saying that it's possible, certainly, if Vince is trying to reinforce what he is putting out there on prime time on Wednesday night. It's another opportunity for the WWE to get its talent out there in front of a national audience. Again, Vince is going to be involved in this. He's going to be heavily involved with this. And no matter what you think, no matter what you believe, even with NXT in its current form and its current structure, you believe that Hunter has full and complete autonomy on everything that is done with NXT, he still reports to Vince. Ultimately, and I emphasize this again, anything and everything that happens involving WWE, past, present, and future, as long as the man lives and God knows him, even after he's fucking dead, everything that happens in WWE ultimately gets Vince's stamp of approval for better or worse. If you wanted NXT to be a bigger deal, 
If you wanted NXT to get its own primetime slot on national cable television, if you wanted to do all of these things, understand there are trade-offs and potential consequences and ramifications of it. And this is the biggest one of all. Now that said, the way NXT is currently structured, if you're going to put it out there Wednesday night on primetime cable television, I'd be incredibly hesitant to fully buy into the current model of what NXT is as a product. And as much as we might not like a Kevin Dunn and Vince McMahon and what type of fingerprints or imprints they will put on the product, it perhaps is going to be a necessary balance to help NXT be able to establish itself as a national, international, primetime, featured television wrestling program. Because the way it is structured right now just ain't it, son. It just ain't it. You can appeal to the hardcores that are already bought into your network and all of that, but to be able to sustain enough of an audience, and even if you think about it, if you assumed that everyone that subscribed to the network watched NXT every single week, watched every single TakeOver episode, which is a crap assumption, and you all know it, the what 1.5, 1.6 million subscribers that they have, you got to factor in that that is worldwide. In terms of subscriber numbers, that's not just domestic. So how many of those fans are truly here stateside? And even if you said it was a million, you're still saying not every one of those million that stateside actually watches NXT every single week. They can't. The math just isn't there. There's no freaking way. So in order for NXT to make it, you know, forget AEW. You're just focusing on NXT for a second. There are going to have to be changes, and there are going to have to be sizable changes. Now, I certainly hope one of those sizable changes is that the people that work in NXT, the on-screen talents, the wrestlers in NXT get paid more because all of a sudden you've got about 50 million more reasons to pay your people better. I'm sorry. If that's not a byproduct of this, then it's crap. And if the wrestlers, especially the main roster people, don't all unite... And demand, if the WWE resists, to pay these guys in NXT more money, then you should be staging protests and walkouts and all of this. Because that's crap. So I hope that's one thing positive that comes out of this. But there is still that element of, if you think NXT in its current form is going to make it long term as a primetime two-hour show every week, you're nuts. They're doing it in the network feeding it to their own hardcore fans, that's not enough to get by. Especially when you factor in the potential competitive component of AEW running their shows at the same time on Wednesday night. You know, what is this going to mean? I think there are other questions in terms of, is NXT going to stay a developmental brand? Because then you have the question of, this is second-rate wrestling versus now you bring over some guys from Raw and SmackDown, some ladies from Raw and SmackDown that have more notoriety, put them on NXT, and all of a sudden now, you've got three shows that you've kind of thinned your talent pool across instead of just two like you have now, and it could end up watering down all three shows, frankly. Uh, but that's a conversation for the next video. In this video, though, it all comes down to this. I just want to implore everybody to understand and remember their better senses. You might be excited about the possibility of NXT going on USA Network for two hours every Wednesday night. You get more NXT. You might be sitting there thinking to yourself, well, why do I still have the WWE Network anymore? Let's be realistic. A lot of you, it's costing $9.99 a month. Chances are you probably are going to keep your subscription. If you don't watch it on Wednesday night, maybe you'll watch it the next day on the network. But I, I come back to this. Use your logic. Learn from wrestling history. Learn from WWE history, and especially Vince McMahon's history. He is going to be involved. Crap is going to change. Some of that change is necessary for the greater good. And some of that change is absolutely going to suck. You probably don't want to believe me. You probably want to call me names. You probably want to trash me for how wrong I am. Fine. Whatever. Those who don't learn from history are doomed to repeat it. You give WWE and Vince McMahon too much of the benefit of the doubt. You should have learned your lesson by now. What the hell exactly is going to happen? So no matter what happens, stuff is going to change. And Vince and Kevin Dunn, what's up, Doc? 
are most certainly going to be involved. And every step of the way, the angry wrestling man, me, the Schlag Daddy, I'm going to be there. Because by God, OTRS Central is not the wrestling show you want, just the wrestling show you need. And Vince is not going to be getting involved. Really? You really believe that?